Hey guys, Ricky the Eastern Wild. So today we're gonna go out and test these key up light of knocks that they sent me and kudos to them. They sent me this stuff to test and review so I'll be giving you my honest opinion, but I'll tell you this, I've used these some already and they have yet to fail me. So I'm thoroughly impressed at this point. So stay tuned and let's put them through their paces. <laughs> let's see. Remove your old, you got the pack of three here. It's the inserts. Just measure up, see which one fits the tightest in there. You can see that one went in too easy. That one had a little resistance. That one's money. Push it in, take that out. Use your cock vein up, that's what I would do, just for uniformity. Get it right there. Just push it down, let it seat. Give it a test. It works. Let's go. Target ready, man. Can't shoot a target that ain't ready. So we're gonna let Bayston shoot tonight and I might shoot some uh, follow-up shots after he's finished, but here's my homemade target I made. This is a air conditioner cover <laughs> to keep the weather off of it, man. It's got blankets from Royal King in it, man. So, all right, where are you uh, shooting on this deer? You show me, you point to it. There on the shoulder? That's yeah. a terrible idea. No. No. You see where that hole shot out, man? Right here. That's where you want to shoot. I don't know where he learned that. He didn't learn it from me. Let's go sling some arrows, man. This is the key up light and knock from Amazon, and we're gonna be testing it out tonight. Do you remember what we had your yardage just set as? 30 drop. 10, 20, 30? Mm -hmm. All right, step back. We're at 20 right here, so. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Go ahead and pull it and tell us what we're working with here. Say, turn it off. It's all right, son, dad's got you. So Basin just got done shooting. We're back out here doing a test and review of the key up lighted knot. You can see here. And these things are phenomenal. We're about five minutes to eight o'clock and it's almost September. We're August 30th right now. So we're at dusk, what I would consider dusk. So. Let's see how these forming lower light situations. This would be kind of like what you'd be shooting at a deer. All right, here we go. Nice shot. Let's go check it out. He's trying to stay out of the center of that hole. It's that deer target's getting so thin right there that that arrow goes straight through the target. Yeah. All right, you can see here, this key up, man, it's lit up really nicely. Weak, weak, Yeah, yeah. Weak. I'd like to see you pull it out. Slim I chicken. I could. So right here, to turn these things off, all you gotta do is put your finger in that little black slot and pull it back, and that's it. Let's go back to... 30. Let's go to 50. 50 yep. already? Yeah, let's go to 50. All right, so now what we're gonna do is push back to 50 and show you guys what it looks like. Make sure we're at 50 here. 50 on the money. All right, gonna have Bayston shooting a 30 yard shot here. Let's see what our yardage is. You're at 30, right here where I'm standing. You're shooting your third pin. Go ahead. Oh, dude, you just smoked that thing. He just smoked it, baby. Come on. Dude, what the heck? Look at that, man. 
That's super good shooting, base. Thanks. Yeah, man. Talk about making a dad proud, man. 30 yards, that ain't too shabby, man. That ain't too shabby. Pretty good shot. Yeah. How many yards was you? 30. All right. What do you think about the uh, lot of knocks that we're using? Oh, they're good. They're awesome, ain't yeah. they? Those are gonna be uh, really nice come this fall, man. Uh, especially when you're self filming, you know, that gives you your point of impact. You're able to see exactly where you hit the deer. You can, you know, rewind the, the footage, go back and see. It's like a tracer round going through the air, man. They really do compete with Nocturnal. Like I grew up with Loon Knox and then Nocturnal become really big. And these right here, they're remarkably similar. Probably one more thing we should do to see how uh, durable these things are. We'll go ahead and turn it on here. You can see it's on. And we're gonna dunk this thing in the pool. You can see right here, got the pool. We're gonna put it in the water here. You can see that. And I'm gonna stick it down in there. I'm just gonna whirl it around really good. As you can see, that thing's still shining, baby. So before I post this video, I just want to see if this held up to the water last night. You can see it still works, but the one on the left does look a little dimmer. So one more test that I wanna do is we're gonna take this and we'll use the same one from the water and we're gonna leave it turned on and see if it can hold up the cold. So I grabbed one from the water test and I grabbed another one and we'll leave these on and stick them in the fridge and check back a little bit and see if they can withstand the cold. All right, so here we go. Open up the fridge, see how these did, man. Look at that, man. They're still on. You can see right there. So, it's pretty telling of the quality of these. Done pretty well, man, if I say so myself. I've got three arrows right here, and I'll kind of detail what each of them are. So this arrow back here, you can see it's the dimmest. This is the one that we subjected to the pool water test to see the waterproofing of these. Uh, I also put this in the fridge and left it for about an hour and a half. This one was a brand new one uh, that had not been subject to water. And I also put it in the fridge with this one for about an hour and a half. This one here is a brand new one. Now these are in great shape still. The one that I subjected the pool water last night looks a little dimmer. I don't know if that has anything to do with it being subject to water, but I'm super impressed with these. And I can confidently say that I will be using these this upcoming deer season. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Once again, I'd like to thank Kia Archery for sending these products out to us. Deer season opens a week from today. So stay tuned to the channel, man. There is absolutely more to come. God bless you all. Later.